Alright guys, how's it going? So sooner or later, it'll come some point where you actually need to unwrap or UV map an object. And exporting the layout for the UV map certainly comes in handy, especially if you're a traditional artist and you use things like Photoshop. Don't get me wrong, I know there's things like Substance, but sometimes Photoshop just does a job, especially if you're doing something like a label. So this object has no UVs applied, so I'll quickly jump into UV editing and I'm going to select the first face here. I don't need the rest UV map that kind of hides, so I only essentially want to use this. Now there's several methods we can use. I can come up to UV, I can do an unwrap, or I can press U on the keyboard and I'll pretty much do an unwrap as well. Now this is perfectly fine, but manipulating it inside the Photoshop might be a little bit tedious. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly rotate it 90 degrees, and I'm going to move it into the middle a little bit, and I'm just going to scale it in. Now in order to actually export out the UV map, if you come up to UV in the UV editor, you'll see here export UV layout. Now I can't show you my desktop, but trust me I've done it, in the next stage I'll show you inside the Photoshop. So this is essentially what you see inside the Photoshop. This is technically a working area in terms of the UV map. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just quickly going to drop in a background, and I'm going to add some quick text. So we essentially have a basic texture map, and I'm going to export this back out, and I'll jump straight into Blender. So inside of Blender, I'll go to the shading options. Now there's already a material applied here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my texture map, and I'll apply the colour to the base colour. And one thing that might immediately strike you is it's actually inverted. Now there's several ways we can fix this. You can do a vector transform, or you can do a coordinate transform, but the problem actually stems from the UV map. It's actually inverted. So I can come back up to UV editing. I can make sure I've got this selected. What I can do here is I can press S for scale, X, minus one and that'll flip it background and that means everything looks perfectly fine and that's pretty much how you export out a uv layer it does come in handy especially if you're doing something like this do me a favor guys like the video subscribe to the channel it costs you absolutely nothing just hit that button you know what to do peace